So let's bring in our favourite, Mo Vella. Mo Vella. Mo Vella. Former senior advisor to President-elect Joe Biden. I've had the privilege of being the first Hispanic American to serve twice in the White House in a senior role. I'm an attorney, entrepreneur, advocate, public speaker, and just all around life enthusiast. I'm going to turn it into a positive though, make lemonade out of lemons. We have a lot of work to do to heal. We have a lot of work to do to unite. We have a lot of work to do to better understand one another. Mo Vello is a former senior advisor to Joe Biden. Mo, a very good morning to you. How are you feeling? Good morning to the people of Australia. I have to tell you, I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. We need him so desperately with his unifying and caring spirit and that incredible, incredible grace that Joe Biden has. You're supposed to have a national strategy, a national plan. You're supposed to be ready for this. We were ready. Go ahead, Mo. What, what did he withhold? It, it, you want to get into this? What did he withhold? He, it's on tape, Maria. Let's go back and roll all the tape. You have inspired me and you've motivated me. You are kicking ass. Everyone has a place at the table at Unicorn Hunters. Everyone has a place at the table. Ali's going to sing happy birthday to you. Happy wow, birthday Ali. to you. Wow. <laughs> if I wasn't gay, I'd be flying on the next plane to go <laughs> ask you out, Ali. <laughs> See what happened right now? We're all laughing. For just a split moment, even if you don't agree with anything I've said, you actually liked me. Regardless of the fact that she's white and I'm Latino. Regardless of the fact that she's straight and I'm gay. We now share vulnerability. It matters to us. We understand that we need our allies around the world. Those relationships are an absolute must, and I think most Americans understand that. You can either make a mistake and never get back up again, or you can make a mistake and recognize that it was nothing more than a learning experience. Race is a very personal issue to me. I view it as a part of who I am. We will have to worry about this issue and we will have to deal with systemic racism. We want to make the world a better place, one person at a time. If we let the human spirit thrive and we look at what we have in common, we literally are unstoppable.